I started a series titled Prototype Fred Bear's Ask Series. It's a concept where people can ask the characters to perform various tasks. Mainly, people make Shadow Fred Bear beat himself up since he gets harassed and picked on constantly for simply being a jerk. I'm fine with it, and it doesn't bother me at all, but I do have a fascination with disturbing content, so I tend to incorporate horror elements into the dares. I do always make sure it remains within acceptable boundaries. There's a little bit of blood included, and sometimes I go a little overboard with it. However, following my experience with this particular amino, a fan of my series sent me a link to a community I had never encountered. It looked very shady, and it resembled the Five Nights at Freddy's amino. I entered it, and something seemed off. There were barely any posts, except for a few, yet, ironically, there were many members. I talked to a few of them, most I could tell from their comments and messages that they were pretty depressed. Two were friendly, and one was not active. One of them even warned me to leave the Amino, but I told them I was just investigating. They allowed me to investigate, and after searching, I found an episode of my series. It was titled, Prototype Fredbear's Ask Series, Number Zero. Now, keep in mind, this was an episode that I don't recall making. The only episode I made of the series was number one, and that was made with my older art style. This one, however, contained my current art style, but it was badly edited, and this time, it was a video. It's usually just pictures when it comes to these sort of projects. So, I watched the video, and it started with a picture of Prototype Fredbear and Shadow Fredbear's heads on a toned-down version of the outside background as seen in the series. It felt eerie. I mean, it was just their heads on an empty background, badly edited. No trees, no shading, just grass and the blue sky. As you may be aware, each Dare episode has a standard background. The older episodes don't count, but the characters were in a frenzy. It looked low quality. Anyway, the episode begins with prototype Fredbear. However, he looked like a cosplayer. He looked like an actual animatronic, but alive and functional. There was a guy inside prototype Fredbear, and it was obvious that it was a suit. A dare comment pops up, and an unknown person asks Shadow Fredbear to grab a screwdriver and ram it into his eye and groin. Shadow Fredbear does that, and the prototype Fredbear covers his eye in pain and curls up on the ground. The next dare was shown, and there was Lulbit. A dare popped up, and she was told to break Shadow Fredbear's spine. Shadow Fredbear sees Lulbit, and she tackles him and breaks his spine in half. He starts to cry and crawl away in pain, and then starts to get a little bit animated. Interestingly enough, it never seems to end, like it was like on some kind of a loop, and Lulbit isn't seen at all at this point. The outside background was also accurate to the original, except more zoomed in. Prototype Fred Bear had a knife in his hand and looked forlorn. The worst part is that you can see what appears to be a gun behind him, which looked as if someone was forcing him to do it off-screen. It pans away from the horrific sight of Prototype Fredbear murdering Lulbit, and after seeing that, I asked myself how out of character it was for him to be doing this to his girlfriend, since he's shown in every drawing to like her. It would seem that the individuals responsible for this episode likely had no understanding of the character, and once again, Prototype Fredbear was very badly edited. His pose was obviously taken from a different episode. The disturbing scene of Prototype Fredbear stabbing her on a loop finally ended after a few minutes. The next scene of the video was even worse than the previous one. It was a picture again. The following image shows both Prototype Fredbear 
and Shadow Fredbear, standing in a room with the normal, regular background that other people are used to seeing in the series. However, the background was darker, and instead, it showed the night sky outside. There was still a little bit of blue in the image, but it was pretty hard to make out. They were smiling at the camera with rotten-looking teeth, and their eyes black voids with only tiny white dots. The quality of the image had a bit of sharpness effect, and I realized that this episode had only three characters. I was getting more disturbed at this point. After waiting for a little while, a stock scream effect can be heard in the background, and the contrast and color acted up, and the screen then pans away from the grotesque prototype Fredbear and Shadow Fredbear picture. The scene transitions back to the dares. Prototype Fredbear was cleaned up, and he runs into Shadow Fredbear, after which he knocked him out, possibly for revenge for hurting him. A new character was shown, Spring Bonnie. Prototype Fredbear told Spring Bonnie to deal with him, and then he tripped on something. He sticks his tool into his chest by accident. Spring Bonnie falls to the ground, which causes the metal object to fall on his chest and blood oozes out every opening in his body. The character is revealed to be Bonnet. I know she wouldn't hurt anyone, just like everyone else in this disturbing video, but still. Bonnet was suspended from a string, with no one visibly controlling her. Prototype Fredbear goes to her, getting ready to talk to her, but when he bends over, he has tools on his back that slide off and fall on her, crushing her in the process. As a tool fell onto Prototype Fredbear's neck and decapitated him, I started to notice the absence of questions or dares in the middle of the disturbing and graphic scene. I knew there was something off about this episode after seeing more of it. The scene cuts the lull bit with Shadow Fredbear. She stole his screwdriver and drilled it into his brain. The episode then ended on the spot. I tried linking the post to the leaders and curators, but they didn't respond. I tried contacting the guy who posted the video. I mean, they were very nice, even though I was pretty skeptical about their personalities. They told me they weren't the ones that made this, and that it was a video taken from people on the dark web who managed to know what my art was. They were able to archive the video and post it to this forum. They were expecting me to see it and share my thoughts about it. My guess is, is that they possess knowledge of the individuals involved in their fates, along with the video's backstory and the actors, and the uploader was supposedly former friends with them. The following day, an investigation commenced in the forest to probe the video's origins, yielding minimal evidence. Corpses were discovered inside the rotting cosplay suits, and a small amount of dried up blood was found on the suits. There was a notepad and a broken phone on the ground next to the corpses. There was a camera in front of the whole scene, but it was broken as well. Lulbit was the only surviving actor. She was recuperating before the police fatality wounded her, mistaking her for the kidnapper. A leader, active at the time, went over to the post and finally watched it. Their shock was palpable, prompting the individual who posted it to take swift action and remove it. Following my departure from the Amino, I moved forward, continuing to focus on my current projects, such as developing the series. Nevertheless, revisiting this disturbing moment continues to unsettle me and I can safely say that I've now concluded recounting this. There is more I could share, but I'm hesitant to do so, that I must conclude my narrative at this point. <laughs>